Hi Aries, welcome to a love reading for singles for August 2024. It's Raina here. And um, so I will tell you about the positions when I uh, after I <laughs> lay them out. Oh no. The, some of the cards had stuck together and now it's like I think I had put some kind of liquid. Maybe they'll dry and, and won't be so bad, but they're kind of warping a little bit. Okay, Let's see if I can do it so you can see everything. Okay, so the center card is your love life at the moment. Knight of Wands, that's perfect for a single Aries because it's kind of like that person who is maybe playing the field. If you have broken up with someone, Maybe you're sowing your wild oats. There's just that sense of freedom with this card. And this is the typical way Aries people are anyway. So it's not really much different. But uh, when you're single, you can even be more in that mode of uh, independence, if you will. And not necessarily willing to settle down. So if this is a situation where... Um, you're like, wow, I wonder if I should be in a relationship. Well, it depends on what has just happened. Um, because for some people, it might be that you need that time just to be free if you have broken up with someone recently. Um, in the past position, we have the King of Cups. This can be maybe if you were with somebody who's a water sign. Cancer is one that you tend to find yourself drawn to because you're both cardinal signs and there's that irritating friction that's also very physically stimulating. Uh, but the other water signs are Scorpio and Pisces. Actually, I don't know if this card is connected to Pisces. I see a fish, so it's very possible. Um in some cases, uh, you may have uh, even gone to therapy to find out what's going on, or maybe it was for a different reason, but it's going to benefit you, or just some kind of a healer. Uh, if this is, if the King of Cups is a facet of you, um, I think it might be the other person in a past relationship, but if it is, if it is you, um, it's about growing up um, emotionally, becoming more emotionally mature. And that may have played into the ending of a relationship, whether or not you initiated it. The energy coming in uh, is the Four of Swords. So this really does support kind of like taking time for yourself to recuperate, to process. I think this is a big one with the Four of Swords, processing what you have dealt with in a relationship. So all three cards on the top here, it doesn't necessarily suggest that you are uh, open to love at this time. If, you know, you beg to differ, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear how you feel about that. One thing that is also going on is that uh, Chiron has been in your sign for the past, I don't know if it's been six years, seven years. It, it, a cycle of Chiron is about seven years, so it's probably been about six years. It hasn't gone the whole route. And that has probably made a lot of uh, sun sign Aries people more... Um, I was going to say vulnerable, tender, sensitive, 
and that may have you know so it might even be like that kind of a, a vibe and that can have a good side but it can also lead to maybe feeling uh uncomfortable in relationships because you might feel like you're being exposed it's not i feel like aries people even in relationships, they can be on the go all the time and they just are, they have so many things going on that it doesn't necessarily allow them time to, to get in depth in their relationships because, and if they're with somebody who's the same as them, it can actually be, you know, very, a very active relationship. But the, on the other hand, uh, maybe things that are very, emotional kind of go without being expressed sometimes but you might be kind of thinking about other things in life too with the four of swords it's really about getting your mind in order and even resting your body uh it's not necessarily that act of an of an energy what crosses you or what kind of comes in between you and this idea of, you know, having a new relationship is the sun card, which is very interesting because the sun card is to me in large part about love. It is connected to Leo. I mean, it could be a Leo person in your life that you haven't gotten over. I mean, that's always a possibility, but I think I think it's really um, interesting that I got that as the obstacle card because I think um, the sun the sun card in a challenge position can mean that perhaps love is a loaded issue for you because if you have um, been in any kind of relationship before and maybe you were in love with someone but they curtailed your freedom or tried to, they were too possessive or they were too demanding in some way. Like they were not independent enough. They thought you were going to just like do everything for them. And you're the kind of person that gives your partner freedom, but you expect the same from them. You're not the kind of person that wants to have a codependent relationship not by a long shot. And so this can be quite frustrating if you've been, if you have had a past of dealing with that, because I think it's pretty commonplace for um, partners to think that the other person is like their property and they can just kind of like tell them what to do and they have to do it. So, you know, the idea of like love can be something that is also about freedom may be something that you have to open your mind to if you haven't had any kind of uh, experiences with that in the past. If you've just had one after the other, but it could be the kind of person that you are attracting. I think a lot of it has to do with that. So you have to look at it from your end too. The outcome card is the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is a card that can be, um, I would say, because this is a card of cooperation, if you have an ex, this might indicate that that person is willing to cooperate with you. So it could indicate reuniting with such an individual anyone that you meet can be you can meet a person who is a friend or maybe you already know this person maybe they're around you right now as a friend and it can develop into something more this is a card of like working on something together so this may be someone where you both are on the same page about something that you want to accomplish. And it, so maybe you have a similar interest and that's how you meet such a person. And yes, it could even be somebody who, who has like prominent earth 
So that would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I would kind of think of the Capricorn, perhaps, because that's a cardinal sign as well. But that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that this resonated. Have a great month. Bye.